It is that time now where we take a look at some of Adidang's digital media content. And Anni News is back, taking a look at the top trending stories. Hi everyone, I'm Min Sun, a news reporter at Arirang TV, and here's today's Omni News. It's been more than a month now since South Koreans voluntarily staged mass boycott of Japanese products. It started off with boycotting Japanese beer and certain clothing brands that were popular among Koreans. The boycott movement is not going away, but is spreading to a wider range of products, including products for babies and hobby. According to a local retail chain, from July to first week of August, sales of Japanese diapers decreased 15% compared to a year before. During the same period, sales of Korean diaper brand jumped more than 70%. It's quite notable because once parents find certain baby products that fits them, they usually stick to the brand and don't change. But with the boycott movement, more consumers seem to be finding an alternative product. In addition to that, sales of Japanese game, golf, and cosmetic products has went down. Japanese cosmetic company DHC made anti-Korean remarks and made incorrect accusations about Korea on their television show. And that led to another strong boycott movement to send back DHC products to Japan. And significantly less people are searching names of Japanese products in online shopping malls. Considering how people search a name of a product when they buy an item online, decreased search frequency could mean that people are less inclined to buy a Japanese product. Also in time for the 74th anniversary of National Liberation Day on August 15th, Korean brands are staging so-called patriotic marketing. Local stationery company recently released a special edition of pens designed with Korea's national flag and flower. 5,000 sets of the special edition were sold out in just one day. And t-shirts with faces of independence movement activists in the year 1945 to remember the history also sold out nationwide within a week. Unless there's some major breakthrough in Korea-Japan relations, the boycott and the patriotic marketing are likely to continue. That's it from this Sunday today. Make sure to like this video and subscribe our channel. Bye!